Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's continue with multiplying fractions together. Now it turns out multiplying fractions is very easy compared to adding and subtracting fractions. So all we have to do here is multiply the numerators together and then multiply the denominators together. So here's some examples of how to do that. We have the fractions 5 over 6 times 3 over 7. So we multiply 3 times 5 gives us 15 and 6 times 7 gives us 42. Of course, when we then want to write that as the most reduced fraction, we can go ahead and divide both the top and the bottom by the same number if possible. So in this case, what you find out when you reduce that, you can see that the numerator can be divided by 3 and the denominator can be divided by 3 because 1 plus 5 is 6 and 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is equal to, uh, let's see, when we divide by 3 and divide by 3, what we get, we end up with 5 divided by 3 goes in 42, that would be uh, 14. And so the end result is when we multiply the two fractions together and then we reduce the fraction afterwards, we end up with 5 divided by 14. So that's how we can go ahead and find the final answer. So after we multiply them together, we still may want to reduce the fraction. Same with the next one. Again, multiplying is very straightforward. 2 times 12, that's equal to 24. And 3 times 7, that's equal to 51. Can we divide both of those by the same number? And the answer is yes. Not that they're both even, but they both can be divided by 3. 2 plus 4 is 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. So what we can do here is after we multiply the numerators and the denominators together, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number, the number 3. And so 24 divided by 3 is 8, and 51 divided by 3, well, that would be 17. And so since 17 is a prime number, that's as far as we can go. So the end result is that when we multiply them together, and then we reduce as much as can as we can, the answer is 8 divided by 17. What do we do when we have three fractions? Well, the rules are still the same. We multiply all the numerators together. We multiply all the denominators together. So 4 times 3 is 12 times 1. That's 12 for the numerator. And 5 times 2 is 10 times 7 is 70. So here that would be the uh, result when we multiply all three fractions together. But since they're both even, we can go ahead and divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So 12 divided by 2, that's equal to 6. And 70 divided by 2 is equal to 35. Now notice that they're both not divisible by 2, they're both not divisible by 3, not by 4, not by 5. Um, looks like that's probably as far as we can go, so that would be the final reduced form of the product of those three fractions. So the general rule when we, th when we think about in terms of algebra, how do we look at it when we just do a general rule with any, any factors, for example? We can say that a over b times c over d is simply the product of a times c divided by b times d. And if there's multiple fractions, we simply multiply all the numerators together. That would be a times c times e divided by b times d times f. So that's the general rule. Simply multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together to get the final format. And if we can then reduce the answer, we probably should do so. And that's how it's done.